Okay, so now moving on to uh, designing a pattern for the quarter panels, yeah? The best way to do it is just using tape. Now, I usually like to use masking tape, but I don't have masking tape, so I'm using packaging tape. Um, so first of all, make sure that is where you want it to be, nice and in the center. Right, and then you just start just very loosely. Masking up a bit. Don't worry too much to get the right curve. At the moment it will generate its own curve and you'll just to give you a rough idea on what shape you need to use. But masking tape has a bit more rigidity to it, so it works far better. So that's just obviously a rough idea of what needs to happen or what pattern you need. Then what you want to do is just mark out lines where the edge of the steel is. Like I said, this you don't have to be spot on with this. Well, you have to be spot on is obviously making sure these are all equal. Because if those aren't equal, because you can just make one pattern, and obviously by adding on material on the sides, you'll get a very good idea on what, on all of them. So if you add on, you'll have enough to fill the panels. So there we go. So now I've got a nice idea of what I need. And what you do is you grab yourself a blank piece of paper. And you stick it down. Obviously it's not going to be perfectly flat because you've got a curve to it. But you stick it down the best you can. And then voila, you put this off your pattern. You see, now that fits out a decent shape. This will obviously be the other way around. And you should see that you should also fit there and then obviously fit in that side. You see. see? fits equally all around. Now you've got this one, you just extend it with, uh, put it onto another piece of paper, trace it out, and once you've got the paper, you take the paper, drill your holes, and rivet the paper onto it. Because obviously the sides are a little bit softer, so the paper will stand up because of the, the steel frame. They had paper back there, so that's how they would have done it.
No, obviously I'm joking. No. Trace up sides, there you go. So now what I'm gonna do yeah. Now I'm gonna work out. I'm gonna add on about one and a half centimeters all around. Again, you can always trim. Can't add more on. Just add that along the sides. Now the bottom, I'm going to add a little bit more onto it because I've got space. So I'm going to add on two centimeters to the bottom. And then Out. And there we go. There's my pattern for the quarter panels for the helmet. Now I'm going to go cut them out. Might look a bit big now, but once you start dishing, because remember this is my flat, so once you start dishing, you're going to get a bit of curl in here. So that's going to thin it out a bit or bring it in. And then you can always trim off more if you need to. Alright, so let me go on to cut this out. Right, there we go. So I'm going to proceed on to cut this out of steel and then we should be able to start working on it, dish it out so we can fit it up onto the helmet. Okay, 